It's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. Do I look a little taller to you? It's because I'm wearing shoes. Just think if I were wearing heels, man, I'd be like up here all the time. It'd be fantastic. Let's see, yesterday I went to work and I came home and it's kind of slow at Yahoo, so I turned the TV on and flipping through the dial and there wasn't much on. And if you have Comcast Sportsnet, Sometimes you get the feeds of other things for free. For example, I think Comcast owns the Philadelphia Flyers, and they uh, have the so they air the Flyers games on Comcast Sportsnet. I don't know Philadelphia, and uh, so sometimes when the Sharks aren't on, and you put Comcast Sportsnet California on, you get a Flyers game for free. Oh sure, why the hell not? So I was looking, and they also get the uh, Washington Capitals games. I don't know if Comcast owns the Capitals too, but sometimes you get the Washington Capitals game. So guess what? The Capitals game was on last night. And double guess what? You know who they were playing? My Florida Panthers! I said, really? I get to watch the Florida Panthers on TV live? Wow. So, I turn it on and I'm watching my Florida Panthers and they're winning 4-2 to two and it's the beginning of the third period and I forget all about the Panthers' tendency to lose games because they're not very good, and I say, oh my god, they're beating the Washington uh, Capitals 4-2. to two. Oh, this is fantastic. And then the third period starts, and 30 seconds in, 27 to be exact, Alexander Ovechkin scores the goal, and it's 4-3. to three. All right, it's okay. They're still winning. Winning is important. So let's uh, just hang in there. Hang in there. Jose Teodor's in the backup. They pulled the starter after he gave up four goals and 15 shots. The Panthers are going to win this game, and they're going to get a Geico insurance run, it's going to be fantastic. So then I'm watching and I'm watching and then with about five or six minutes left, I don't know, maybe four minutes left, Nicholas Backstrom gets credit for a goal. That was a puck all over the place and Tomas Bokun, I don't know who to blame for that one. It doesn't really matter. The point is the score is now tied. All right, it's okay. The Panthers are going to, you know, get a last minute goal and they'll win five to four and two points in the standings and gain two points on Washington. I don't even know what the standings are in the Southeast Division right now, but it's probably a pretty safe bet that the Panthers are below the Washington Capitals. It's just a pretty safe bet. So I'm going to say that they would be able to pick up two points on them. All right, so regulation ends. They go into overtime. You know, four on four, more wide open. Does that favor the Panthers? Probably not, but what are you going to do? Those are the rules. And then... What's his name? Seaman Stain. Alexander Seaman Stain on the Washington Capitals. He trips the Florida Panther. It's easy to trip Panthers. They have four legs. So the Panthers are on a four on three power play for the last 40 something seconds of overtime, I think it was. And they don't score. So it goes to a shootout. Now I think if you're on the power play, that you should get an advantage in the shootout. But that's not how it works. The shootout is completely separate from the game. It is an exhibition to get a free point. That only happens when the game ends in a tie. That is how you look at it. That's why if it's 0-0 going into the shootout, one team will always win one nothing in the shootout, but both goalies get shut out. Because the shootout is not part of the game. That much I agree with. I think it should have no effect on anything at all. I hate the shootout. So anyway, first two rounds, neither team scores. Third and fourth round, both teams score. So then top of the fifth, Panthers, who had elected to go first, missed their shot. So it all rests on the shoulders of some guy who's 0 for 6 lifetime, but he's from the Czech Republic, just like Tomas Bokun. And he's going against his fellow countrymen in net. And just think about all the times in practice and warm-ups when he's trying to score on practice on Bokun. He knows what to do, so it doesn't matter that he's 0 for 6. And guess what? That's right. He scores the winning goal in the shootout. The Washington Capitals get two points. Florida Panthers get one, and they probably didn't even deserve that. The Florida Panthers are the Golden State Warriors of the National Hockey League. They blew another game, and for someone who just never gets to watch the Panthers because he's too busy, no longer too cheap to buy center ice, but too busy to watch it. I would pay for center ice, but I'm never around to watch the games. So, what happens? Final score, 5-4 in the shootout. Panthers lose. I have no idea where they are in the standings, but I know that the, the Capitals are one point ahead of them. I do keep almost saying Senators. I know. It's because I like old baseball. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at joelshitshow.com.